What's up everybody, welcome back to oh, Let's shit. Play Grifflands. It's the stuff. same day as the last one, and apparently I live in some bizarre world where Grifflands episodes only take half an hour to record, so I'm going to do another one before I get to eat. Um, I realize it's probably from me talking faster and not thinking through my movements as much, or at least not out loud. Let's see, battle or negotiation. Let's go ahead and battle so we can improve our battle deck even further. I also feel like Sal's storyline is the simplest, and maybe her days are the shortest too. But there's less nuance to it. It's just like, do a negotiation, do a fight, do a... You know, it's very straightforward. Which fits Sal's character. They're very straightforward. They don't deal with... They don't deal with religion or politics like the other two characters do. <coughs> uh, let's see. Let's let's talk for now because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a fight coming up later. Or at least there's a chance we'll have a fight coming up later. No. You're doing a lot of damage here. That stinks. I can destroy this. I, what do I what do I do about this? Apply composure. Improvise a card? Five composure, let's go. Okay, no damage coming in there. Instead, make you doubt yourself, all right? It's not the prettiest, we're still gonna get hit for between two to six damage. We got hit for two. Now you are a uh, big ugly, but I don't play hostility cards, so you can't hurt me. Apply three composure to your influence. <clears throat> How about we do it twice, and then the card evokes, and we just have a good time. We would like to get rid of this, and we will do that by spending one influence and attacking everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we apply composure to ourselves. That's all we can do. Uh, yeah, so... The Sal storyline is pretty straightforward, and I feel like there's no need for it to take an hour and 20 minutes. There's less for me to discover because you know they may have updated some stuff, but I understand the general, the general Sal flow. Let's go ahead. I should have done duplicity with that, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and is there a way to gain influence this turn? No. So let's instead. Uh, you're doing 13 damage? Is that coming from your core? It is a core. It is a core issue. We cannot defend that much. We can defend five and nothing else. So the voice of the people, I'm sorry, you're you're gonna you're gonna go. What we can do destroy this to reduce the damage that's coming in. We can spend Influence to play this for five. We can play doubt twice. So you got big doubt coming in. And I will not spend this. I will not spend our last influence so that we can power up some stuff in the future. It's it's fuel and running on empty is painful. Now let's see. We want to gain influence. Hold on. We don't want to break this, right? Lose 10 shills and you double your actions. Yeah, I don't want to lose 10 shills. It's messed up. And you're about to burst. Ah, okay. I can just not play the card. It's unfortunate. The influence goes to a random target. You're dead, alright? You're dead. From from somewhere. From the doubt? Ah, it comes after. It came after. I took damage. Alright, you know what? Slow it down. Just slow it down. Not a big deal. We'll recover. We'll do some fights. We'll recover our resolve. Bang your head on the select tonight. Let's explore a little bit. Get some stuff. Hey, uh, don't be mean. 
person who's not a robot. I feel like I'm going to lose any negotiations I make. Let's explore the cave some more. And then beat some people up. Uh, I don't remember if I have the ability that lets you... I don't... I don't heal after every battle. So, we have to be careful here. We are taking a lot of damage from many sources. So, I'm hurting myself for 3, you're hurting me for 10, you're hurting me for 8, and you're hurting me for 8. If we can remove the 10, that'd be great. And we will do this like so. Okay, we do have 4 actions. So 8, 12, 16 prevents us from taking all the damage. Alright. And that expends, that's defense, and let's go ahead and just focus down the spitting yoke. Yes, they bite. I, uh, how did that hurt me? Where was my math wrong? Okay, once again we're taking 14. Oh, I forgot to account for the 3 from here. Uh, you are healing yourself, which I don't appreciate. But 14 damage coming from these two is worse so we can play one two three four we're playing our entire hand so let's see unless we gain combo let's draw and discard this card this card ah three three actions we're not going to play healing vapors it's too early so we're definitely going to play defense the question is, where do I want to put this damage? This is 2, 4, 7 damage. Uh, or actually, 2, 6, 9 damage, because we're gonna have, they're going to have a wound on them. Let's go ahead and focus on... Let's just keep breaking you down. I know you're going to heal right now. If you're going to heal yourself, then I should go for one of the other guys, right? Whatever, dude. Just go for it. That hurts. It does hurt. Okay. Nine damage coming from the spitting yoke. We gotta, we gotta get rid of one of these guys. So, give me the bleed. One, two, three. We can play everything in our hand. Let's play this so you don't forget about it. Uh, enjoy your... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Four. Seven. Ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're dead from this. Or you flee from that. Now, I can just go after you. Because you're probably going to put up a defense. That's okay. Oh, you gave yourself more power. You know what? I'm even happier that I chose to go after you. We can play our whole hand. So let's improvise first. Uh, apply bleed on him. Because we definitely want to get rid of this guy. We're going to take one damage once we get rid of this wild yote here. Uh, eight. 8 damage until they're gone. We could get it from just this card alone. Okay, you're out of here. We could start working on the other guy. We did get slimed. Every turn, two random cards in your hand costs one more until played. Unfortunate. Let's go ahead and defend ourselves. Start stabbing at him. They have bleed, so enjoy your wound. We should have done that first. But it looks like we're gonna be okay. Block everything that's coming through. We have no means of wounding, so attack, attack. Go ahead and defend yourself. We can play everything if you wanted to, but 
that should be enough to make him surrender. Uh, this, we're going to take one damage. All right. Gain one power, draw three counter, discard up to two, gain one temporary. Gaining one power is nice. I don't have multi-hit attacks. But it's just a good card to have. I mean, who, who, who doesn't benefit from a little bit of little bit of power. Go ahead and expend. Go ahead and expend. And you want those impair and wounds to last more than one turn. And I'm sorry, Google device, I'm not talking to you. I don't I don't know what you were looking up, but I did not intend to talk to you. I do recover resolve after every fight. Okay, let's explore one more time. Alright. Thanks for the money and the lumen. Nothing left. Uh, they know I'm coming. Alright, another big fight. Yo, this is gonna stink. This is free. Make him bleed. Who's hurting us? You are doing 12, you are doing 8, you are doing 5. So I would much rather if you were wounded. However, if you weren't here at all, I'd save myself five damage. That's not a lot. Ah, that's rough. It's not a lot. We want to stun this one. There you go. 12 damage off the table. We want to kill you next. So 7, 14, 21. We'll do that by bleeding you. First we must wound you. This is free to play. Okay, so you've got plenty of bleed going on. I feel like we're gonna be in trouble. So let's bleed everybody. Okay, everybody can enjoy that in the future. Now, 12 damage coming in. Do we mend now and attack? I believe we do because there is a chance that this just kills you or you'll be dead once the bleed procs and so we will only take 8 damage from thief and 3 damage from self. Alright, alright, alright. Got one enemy off the field. Got 15 damage coming in. Let's go ahead and play our whole hand it looks like. We will focus on the one who's already injured. Gained 5 power when below 36 health. Well, if we attack you, we gotta hit you hard and fast. And you heal every turn. Yeah, so we'll just focus down this guy. Girl. Whatever. I mean, it's not whatever, but, you know. It doesn't change the result. Okay, so now you're stronger. Down to 33. This is free, so just play it. We can play everything in our hand. Do we apply wound or do we apply bleed? <clears throat> we, if we wound you for two, right? So that'll be four, eight damage plus one, two, three. So that four bleed, five bleed, eight damage, five bleed puts you at 13 or It'll be 8 damage, 8 bleed puts you at 16, which means you're not quite dead. That's if we low roll. If we roll slightly higher, you could you could be out of it. And if we just put 2 bleed on you, it's nothing interesting. So, put the wound on you, defend yourself. High rolling on that, I think, guarantees that you're surrendering. What? What happened? I saw the surrender flag, and it went away. What's this? What is this? 
attack supply one bleed, then reduce rev up by one. You piece of garbage, you made me bleed. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. You're you're done though. You have bleed, so enjoy your impair. Uh we could wait, what's what does slice even? Apply bleed for each card play this turn, that's fine. More power for the future? Don't mind if I do. And then a little a little stab on top. So you bleed out. You can go ahead and get stabbed. We're taking only three damage this turn. Go ahead and block it. We can play this, see what's coming up. Apply wound, wish we did that earlier. And then make you bleed a lot. You've surrendered. What do we get? Death loot, garbage. And you, death loot, it's garbage. You can live. Discard a card, double the damage of a random card in your hand for this turn. Whenever this card is improvised. Sino Trainer, I remember being really good. Because you just play a two cost card and it's, it's better. It's just better. Right, let's take it. And then remove random debuff. Can be can be very useful. Six defense is okay. Upgraded cards. Can we make this uh make it free? Guarantee that we can play it whenever it comes up. Uh, I don't really care about the damage it does. Its function comes from we have some attack up operations, so attacking twice is nice. But the success of kidney shot comes from just stunning. If it did zero damage, it'd still be a great card. Uh, you can get out of here. I need freaking grass slots, dude. Gain one combo, pets have health. Whenever you play four diplomacy cards in a row, apply one composure. Yeah, that, replace pocket bomb. I need slots. Get out of here. You guys ever use a slot machine? Or you ever get like addicted to slot machines? Or, okay. Are slot machines your favorite form of gambling? Because I'm not a gambler. I don't even play the lotto. I had a lotto ticket bought for me one time. Um, like when I turned 18, they're just like, my, my uncle's just like, hey, here's, here's a lotto ticket because you can do this now. And I'm just like, oh, thanks. Um, uncle, who I talk to twice a year. But, uh, it's, I, okay, it's, it's the dumbest humble brag, but I won on that lotto ticket. I won like 20 bucks and I realized, you know what, this is where I, ca this is where I cash out. I never have to gamble again. Not that I had any compulsion to, but I've won, you know, I, I beat the system. I profited from from gambling I'm, I'm out I have been tempted in the past to because I have or I had a high uh, e ego and I thought that you know I could do the whole thing from the movie 21 where you just count cards I remember in high school practicing with my friends we would just like take a deck of cards and once we were done with whatever the lesson was for the day we would just like flip through the deck and trying to keep track of what the what the count was it's extremely dumb, extremely middle school, I mean high school, 2000s thing to do. Um, but you know what? Whatever. We were, we were 15, 16 years old. What else are you going to do? And freaking, you know, you know what else we did? We named every single Pokemon from memory from the first two generations because we're the honors horses and we're big dorks and that's that's all we know let's go ahead and remove 
Remove the rumors, dude. We don't have any influence to spend, so this is free. I just realized that. Yo! Thanks for the action. Let's go ahead and... Do we have influence? We don't. We can get influence. Like so. And then we play this. And this will hit everybody. You love to see it. And then, what are you doing? You're attacking here? I'd rather you didn't. What are you doing? You put Baffled in the deck. That's not as bad as everything else. And also you're getting destroyed, dude. Yeah, we named every single Pokemon. Uh, I don't remember if we did it in order. I doubt it, because currently I only know the order of like 1 through 9, because that's Bulbasaur, Aviasaur, Venusaur, uh, Squirtle. Oh, frick, dude. Is Squirtle, does Squirtle come before Charmander? It's Squirtle, Mortortle, Blastoise, and then Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. And for some reason, it's locked in my head. Pikachu's number 25, that means Raichu's number 26. And then it's a freaking blank, dude. I don't know what the heck else. I know the general order. You got like the legendaries in the back. And the, you know, not legendaries, but kind of rare. It's a late game Pokemon in, in the end, but... I, I, it's all gone all of that precious information gone but you know lyrics no doubt still in there what's up what's happening this turn what's happening in this fight we are being attacked by a core argument for three here I'd rather we weren't whenever we gain influence we apply composure to it but it's not our influence that's being attacked so that's of little use we have no way to destroy an argument of theirs. So, let's gain influence. Blast them. Let's go ahead and hit you. Yo, okay, what, what was that for? It was for whenever you play four diplomacy cards in a row. Okay, so you're protected. You're still gonna hurt me. You're still gonna hurt me. I can hit you for nine. It's not enough, but you know what? You know what? What if... What if you actually didn't do anything this turn, huh? You didn't think about that, did you? Ah, frick, dude. Should have played it earlier. I don't know what it would have changed, but I should have played it earlier. Let's go ahead and play this twice. I don't know if that levels it up faster, but it looks like it didn't. Draw one extra card at the start of your turn. Yeah, dude. Let me draw through my deck faster. Thanks for the shills. Graft word. Whoa, stop giving me grafts, dude. Stop it. I can't. I, I, I don't have room in my brain for him. I don't want authorization. What I want, your friend Teak has found a juicy target to rob, or Pluck is looking for something to do today. Teak or Pluck, who are we helping? I feel like I know who Teak is because they're a robber. Yeah. And I know the power glove. It's like you get extra damage on turn one or something. And who the heck is Pluck? You're Pluck. Gain one action at the start of battle? Yo, surprise attack. Quiet, somebody's coming. Yo, it's just me. Just be cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna get you killed. Probably. Oh, to be honest, I thought we were just gonna raise our relation level, but, you know, having an ally for upcoming fights sounds great too. If we have 455 shills, what the frick? Get me out of here. You hate me. Which is okay, because I'll just put you down, dude. Here, let me... Let me eat something really quickly. Oh, is this... Yeah, I'll get to the dock. Just, just, just chill for a second. Let me eat your freaking fish cake. And then let me also drink. 
15 shills to heal, 15 resolve. Can I drink with somebody? Four on the first attack in battle, that's what it is. And you, what do you do? I haven't received it yet. Add it to the frickin' list, dude. 30 shills. Okay. So. I don't want that. Can I pay you to help me? 75? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Alright, so you come with me. And then he's not, it's night time now. Frick, dude. I can't beat the guy up anymore. Give me a freaking graph slot. Do you have any battle graphs for me? To do? I'm so upset and stupid. Draw three extra cards at the start of every turn. At the end of your turn, take one damage for every... No. No, no. At the start of every negotiation, improvise a zero-cost card from your deck. No, thank you. Are there any cards for me? Remove a negotiation card? Nah. Nah, it's our negotiation deck that needs work. Show me the battle cards. What you got? Double the panic meter of all fighters. This is dangerous because this works against your allies as well. Uh, improvise ability, blade flash, improvise. Target a random enemy for each card in your hand. Do I have extra draw? I don't believe I do. All right, well, all garbage. We can remove a card. Hold on. What card do we have that we are saying is real stinky? I'm not seeing anything that's real stinky. I'm seeing stuff that's a little bit stinky, but nothing that's real stinky. All right. All right, all right. Get me the heck out of here. Let's save my shills for other actions. Fish that shed, shed. She can spare her guard for a while. Yo, dude, come with me. I'm we're assembling a band. We're getting the band back together. Yo, turn one, we're pogged. So, we got influence already. Let's go ahead. Let's think first, okay? Let's think first. The next card you play is played twice. Can we destroy anything? No. So, instead... Wait. Yes. So we will draw if we do this. Let's destroy this first because it's more important. We drew you when we had when we had stuff, so we're good. Uh, influence is the name of the stuff. If you were curious, I don't know why you'd be curious and just want me to like say the things that I'm doing. Weirdo. Let's double up on that. So it does 9 damage. There's an extra 3. We are going to take 4, but he's in a bad spot. Now, let's go ahead. Gain an action. Gain some influence. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and... Do we want to hit everybody for five? Yeah. Yeah, we do. That's exactly what we need. So we have four damage coming in, but we're blocking it all. Two actions left. Let's go ahead and we'll threaten you just to just to get that card upgraded and out of here. We will hit you for free. And you know what? I'll make you doubt yourself. Get some auto damage out there. Alright, so uh, apply composure if you gain influence. How is this for influence? And now, you're dead if I play this. You are dead if I don't play it as well. Because I play you. Let's go ahead and gain influence. Is there any other argument? 
No. How much influence do we have? Five. So, plenty. Goodbye. You're done, Zo. Maybe not. I might get hurt first. No, you don't have enough to break it. Tactical genius, dude. I wasn't afraid. No. Spend one influence, draw two cards. Spend two influence, apply eight composure. Loses one damage every time you end your turn. Get out of here. Get out of here. This card played this turn is played twice, and it doesn't expend. Or this costs zero. You know it, not expending could be really good. I feel like a lot of our cards expend. Or a lot of our def Yeah, just being able to double up on more stuff would be great. And destroy is exactly what we're looking for. You love to see it. Thanks for the metal. Oh, come on. Get in the caravan. We're going shopping. Hop in, loser. We out. Now, I don't want to fight. So I'm going to be really good at my words. Alright, alright. <clears throat> We are taking too much damage right now. Let's protect ourselves. Let's defend both of these. A silly card steal an additional plus one. You know what? I didn't have to protect that. That's my bad, but whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. I want I want Knack dead. I wish I wish I put him down when I had the chance. Let's go ahead. This is doing more. <clears throat> but we can protect against everything. Very easily. Alright, let's let's think let's think this through. Guaranteed just out of here, completely nulled. Yeah. Because we want to protect our influence. That's like top tier important things to do. Now that we've protected our influence, let's protect ourselves. All right, now what do we do? We want to get long term gains, or do we want to start our influence, start our influence train? All right, so we can get this out of here. We don't have to be as defensive next turn. All right, so you're gonna freaking frisk me next turn. I'd rather you didn't, big jerk. So I'll make you not do it by flattering you. What a sucker. We are taking one damage. Let's see if we can reduce that. Looks like the answer is a no, unless free composure, got him. You can't hurt me. I'm too sure of myself. You know, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have used it. Yo, this is the wombo we were waiting for. Duplicity? Draw. And then you play it again. Look at all of that. Four actions. And we just drew it back? Yo, that's, that's awesome, dude. He has no arguments to destroy, so... Uh, the remark's not useful. We do have four actions, though. Let me let me think for a second. We want to gain composure. Or gain influence. Hit him twice, so that'll be 18 damage. Then hit him with this, and it'll be... It'll be five extra, 23, he's dead. So one, play this twice, we play you for free. One of these days we're going to play Tactical Mind and it'll make our deck that much better, but today is not that day. Game one action for every three cards in your discard pile, this, no, get out of here. I don't need to play you, I just need you to trigger. Thanks for the metal. 
All right, now we have that double boss fight coming up with the two weird monsters. Hopefully my full team. Uh, you should just, oh jeez. Let me, let me think, let me think. <clears throat> How much do I believe in my deck? I don't believe it enough for an extra 30 resolve, dude. Cut a deal, let's go. All right, all right. We have lots of stuff coming in. Can we delete you early on? Not quite. We can protect ourselves easily enough with this. So I believe I will. Now you're out of here. All right, now we're back at zero. Uh, or he's back to his default. We, uh, we are taking two to four on the planted evidence, which you hate to see. We have no influence yet. The next card played is played twice. What if we duplicity on this card, spend the first one complementing the second one spending influence? All right, that's gonna hit a random target. It's all, it's all nice and covered up. Then that just smacks a crud out of everybody. And then how about you're only hitting for five? I don't, I don't care about that. What I do care about is, you know, what if I had five influence? Now, one action left. What do we do? We gain two actions. Trick question. We have damage coming in. What do we do? No, we don't. Gain an extra card for the future. Just get this card out of my deck. It's a good card. I just never have... There's always better stuff to play. Yo, but look at this hand now. Look at this hand now. Are you attacking my influence? No, thank you. Get the heck out of here. Okay? I said no thank you. Get the heck out of here. Next card you play is going to be played twice. Well, don't hurt me. And let's... Let's play you twice. And let's gain a stupid amount of actions next turn. Apply three composure on two random friendlies. It's up three vulnerability. Yeah, just do a fat six damage, and then gain two actions next turn. Now I am concerned that I'm running out of defenses. Like this, that's gonna hurt. But, hold on. What if we apply composure randomly? To the wrong arguments, huh? Do you, do you ever think of that? No, you don't, because because you don't think. Go ahead, gain a bunch of influence. That's free. Nine damage. Make him doubt. Hit him. Hit him. We are going to take a bunch, but should be the last negotiation for the day. All right, and we're not fatigued yet, so for whatever that's worth. We have five influence still, so we're okay. We're not, we're not doing terribly. We can destroy this. What's happening? You're getting rid of our ability to draw. That's actually totally fine. Let's, do we want to hit a random argument? They want to hit everybody multiple times. Just you know, blast them all, dude. We draw. One action left. Just disrespect them with the influence bomb. All right. Deal one bonus damage for every other hostility card in your hand. Draw one card. Return the next card you played this turn to the draw pile. No, thank you. Power and influence. What the heck are you talking about, dude? I'm just... 
I'm just trying to survive against this big old monster. Hey, yo, do me a favor and don't freaking attack me this much. You're hitting me for too much right now. Now, you're not you're not defending yourself. So get stunned. We're also just absolutely going to go off on you. We can play everything in our hand, so get absolutely laid out, my guy. Okay, we spent the first turn buffing ourselves, that's fine. This is free, don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, two, three, four, five in hand, let's go ahead. This is a long fight, so let's sleep it off. Do we want to hit all enemies? I don't see why not. This is going to expend. Might as well expend on you. And then a little bit of free damage. Yo. Thanks for the defense. Thanks for defending us, I mean. Alright. This costs one less. You'd love to see it. You guys can attack whoever you want, alright? I'm focusing down this guy. We have three damage coming in. Let's prevent it. Bleed him. Next turn. You know, I decided I don't want to think things through too much. Just let the animal part of my brain take over. You know, just just let instinct just go through, go nuts. Uh, stab him. And you know what? I've immediately changed my mind. I no longer want the animal part of my brain to be driving my actions. I would like to take control. Uh, we don't have that much damage coming in, so let's go ahead and either bleed or wound. And if you know me, which you probably don't, you know that I'm going to do some quick math. You know, wound him for the future. Or just, just keep the wound high, dude. And play that. Alright, now here's where the garbage starts cycling back in. If I play this, it's gonna... I'm gonna take 3 damage, however, if this... If I don't play it, I'm gonna take 12. Uh, improvise for free. We are not taking a lot of damage this turn. Yo, hold on. Hold on. Let's go ahead and wound you all right just keep the wounds going discard a card we're gonna discard this card so you're gonna expend yourself we have big damage coming up because you're wounded and the damage on that one was doubled and it attacks twice lots of lots of ands and 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 then and then and then and then Alright, this dude is suffering. He's just having, he's not straight up not having a good time. You're dead. You're dead to exact damage from this plus bleed. So let's switch our focus over here. Uh, defend ourselves for free. You'll love to see it. We have enough energy to play everything. So we're also love to see that. And then bleed him. We are going to take damage, but we're doing okay. So. Notice that we're able to play our entire hand most of the time, so we either need more expensive cards or more draw. Uh, because, you know, having options is nice, you know, it's just, it is nice having options. Uh, this is free to play, this gets played, we should probably consider, I don't know, gaining power before we do that. But we are impaired, so that's unfortunate, but let's go ahead, take three damage there. So that we don't explode. Okay. So we're doing pretty great right now. We are taking eight damage from this dude. Let's put him down again, if only because this guy's blocking and I don't respect that. Like how dare you have the audacity to block my attacks. Uh, let's defend. And now we think. <clears throat> 
we are taking no damage this turn, so we'll just do the bigly damage instead. And you're dead again. Which can must be real frustrating for you. Like you just brought him back, dude. It's it's real it's real sad, man. Okay, we're no longer gaining experience, so just play the correct cards. This is free. The question is, do we gain power first? Four actions says, yeah, we do. Play that twice. It looks like you're already dead, dude. Uh, <clears throat> is there a way to avoid? Is there a way to avoid the damage? Oh, just don't play it, idiot. Easy peasy. Who knew? Having uh, lots of allies makes fights way easier. And we sell plenty of money. Whenever you attack, gain one combo. Whenever you discard a card, deal two random damage. Whenever you discard a card, you gain one temporary power. None of that says the word bleed in it. So, no thank you. Whenever you play a diplomacy card, apply two composure to a random argument. Yo, that is great. Most of our cards are diplomacy cards. I can see a lot of a lot of growth coming from that. Let's destroy you. If the target has five or bleed or more, apply to impair. Yes. Destroy you. Uh, piercing is only useful if your entire deck is piercing. Because, you know, it has something has to break through his defense. Unless you're circumventing it. Hits all enemies for 7 to 12. Not a big deal. Or not bad, not bad. Alright, 320 shields. Again, it's... Uh, you have nothing for me. Give me another graph slot. Give me a negotiation slot. How much is it? 75 shields? Yeah. Because I hate having to pass these up or replace them. Uh, by the way, I got the package. It was covered in slimy grossness. Dude left our party. Uh, is there any chance that uh, we go and fight dudes? Later, Pluck. Okay, and it looks like we do restore to full every night because over 50%, I'm going to assume... I mean, it's just going to restore everything. No, excuse me. Sorry if you heard that. Uh, who loves us now, though? Spots. Ah, freaking useless. You dumb dog. Made me look bad. Alright, but that's another probably quick episode. I didn't time this one. I'll figure out in a moment. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Later.